Hello everybody, before we start today I just want to extend a very warm thank you to everybody that's come along, supported this new channel and watched the content that has been put on. We have now passed the 200 subscriber mark and are very, very happy. So once again, thank you to everybody that's watched, contributed, liked and shared. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, Aviation Andy, good to see everybody, hope you are all doing okay. Please may I ask, as always, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, leave a comment and share our videos around if you so desire. All of that is a great support and helps grow the channel even more than it has already. Thank you very much for your support, let's get on with it. Okay, I bring you a story today from the Dallas Air Show in Texas. There has been a crash involving two World War II planes that have collided in midair. Footage shows the aircraft striking each other at a low altitude, breaking one of the aircraft in half. A fireball can then be seen as it hits the ground. The planes, one of them a Boeing B-17 Flying Fortress, uh, were taking part in a commemorative air show near Dallas. It was not immediately clear how many people were actually in the two aircraft. The Allied Pilots Association, which represents American airline pilots, said Terry Barker and Len Root, two of its former members, were among people who had died in the collision. Other media reports suggest as many as six people may have died in the collision. Eyewitness Chris Cratterville, who was one of between four and 6,000 who had gathered to watch the Wings Over Dallas air show on Saturday, told the BBC he had never seen a crowd grow more quiet or more still in just a blink of an eye. It went from being a fairly excited, energetic crowd to complete silence and stillness, and a lot of people, including myself, turned their children towards them and away from the airfield because there was burning wreckage in the middle of the airfield. The Federal Aviation Administration said it will investigate the crash at the three-day event, which describes itself as the US's premier World War II air show and was being held in honour of Veterans Day. Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson called it a terrible tragedy. The video, uh, are, they're heartbreaking. Please say a prayer for the souls who took to the skies to entertain and educate our families today. The number of casualties are not yet confirmed, he said, but added that no one on the ground had been reported injured. The event's website states that several planes had been scheduled to do a flyover demonstration on Saturday. The B-17 bomber, of course, played a major role in winning the air war against Germany in World War II. The second plane, which was a P-63 King Cobra, was a fighter aircraft used in the same war, but it was used in combat only by the Soviet Air Force. The B-17, uh, in these circumstances, usually has a crew of around four, four or five people, while the P-63 is flown by a single pilot. This was a World War II flight demonstration type air show where we highlight the aircraft and their capabilities, Hank Coates told reporters. That's it for another one, folks. Uh, of course, condolences and prayers to the families of those involved. And uh, what a terrible tragedy. Having attended many air shows myself over the years, they are a spectacle to behold. I can guarantee you that. And for something like this to happen is tragic. And I hope they get to the bottom of it. Thank you for watching. And again, please subscribe, like, share the content, and show your support for our channel. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.